All right, welcome back to another one of our film reviews. Today we are breaking down Raiders edge defender Malcolm Kuntz. This guy is an up-and-coming star for this Raiders defense, and this is a team, the Las Vegas Raiders, coming off an absolutely massive victory against the Los Angeles Charters. They finally showed what they're capable of, and Kuntz had a breakout performance. As always, if you appreciate this content, give us a like. Give us a comment with any feedback that you might have. But without further ado, let's jump right into the film. All right, we're going to open up with a pass rush situation. You can see the Raiders have three defensive linemen to the offenses right right there. You can see them highlighted right there. Of course, there is Max Crosby on the end. There's Koontz over here all by himself on the left. They have the linebacker walked up in this situation as well. And here the Raiders are just trying to create one-on-one -on -one matchups on the offenses right. You're going to usually take this defensive tackle and try and occupy the center as best you can. And then you're going to work to try and use this matchup here and this matchup here to try and generate one-on-one -on -one matchups, again, most likely with Crosby. But you'll notice is that Kuntz is isolated one-on-one -on -one over here. There's obviously going to be a lot of attention focused on this Chargers offense on Crosby. So normally what teams will do is they'll try and slide protection this direction and maybe give some chip help over here. Again, leaving a one-on-one -on -one matchup right here for Kuntz. This creates an opportunity for Kuntz to make a big play. Let's check out how he does. All right, fires in, knocks his hands away, turns the corner, sack, fumble, great stuff. Awesome. Look how he does against a really good left tackle. I want, I want you guys to focus on how he knocks away Slater's hands right here. This is beautiful timing. Look at that right there. You see Slater's trying to get his hands on Koontz. Watch what Koontz does. Knocks away. Look how low he dips his shoulder to the ground as well. That is textbook. Oh, that's awesome, folks. If you're a young defensive end out there or if you're a young coach out there, this is exactly what you want to see. Low to the ground, turns the corner. His hand is basically on the turf right there. Accelerates to the bend, gets to the quarterback. This is elite level stuff. Again, Koontz is getting better and better. He's obviously a limited rep so far this season and, of course, early in his career. But I tell you what, folks, I think you got a breakout star in Malcolm Koontz. He's quickly becoming an elite pass rusher. Yeah, Nate, Koontz really looks solid early on in his career. And this is really, like you said, his breakout game, his breakout season so far. The first two seasons of career, 60.8, 47.7 PFF grades this year. 79.8 those first two seasons less than 60 snaps played in both seasons this year he's almost to 400 he started a handful of games he's been he's played in every single game so this guy is on his way to being a full-blown star for this Raiders teams and you can see the progression all right, we're going to switch up to a run defense. There is Coons right there on the right side of your screen. And this is a situation where any young edge defender, any edge defender in general, this is a play that I call a check the box kind of play, where if you're going to be a quality player, an elite player, you got to make this play. So this is going to be a draw concept for the Los Angeles Chargers. They're going to fake pass that here, take the defensive end, fake pass that here, take defensive tackle. Center's going to help and support here, work up to linebacker. Uh, left guard, same thing, fake pass set, take on the defensive tackle. And what the Chargers do here is they take their left tackle to try and block Diablo number five right there. And then they insert the tight end to try and cut off Koontz right there. Again, this is a situation, edge defender, tight end. You have inside leverage. You could not let this guy reach you. This should be an opportunity for you to blow it up and make a big play. Let's watch how Koontz does here. All right, there's a snap. You can see the fake pass sets across the board. You can see the left tackle working up to Diablo right there. Watch the tight end right there. He works inside. Again, watch Coons play off, use his hands, make the tackle at the point of attack. Outstanding stuff. Again, this is a check the box kind of play because if you get cut off inside by this tight end, you don't deserve to play defensive end in the NFL. I'm going to be totally honest, right? This is a play you've got to make if you're going to be a starter. And guess what? Coons does. And he's not a starter, but he think he should be. The way he executes, his pass rush ability is outstanding. His effort, which we'll highlight later, is off the charts. But he can play the run as well, and this plays a great example of that. All right, going with another pass rush situation, you can see now there are three defensive linemen to the offense's left. There is Koontz right there on the edge. Now they've got Crosby one-on-one -on -one here. So obviously the Raiders saw earlier Crosby, I'm sorry, Koontz was able to take advantage of a one-on-one -on -one opportunity on the inverse. They're not getting Crosby a chance. But again, I want you to focus on what the Raiders are doing up front. This is a classic stunt people like to use. They're going to take the defensive tackle, work this way. They're going to take Wilson, the rookie defensive end playing inside, have him work that way and bring Koontz all the way around. The whole point of this, because you've got two guys walked up here, that these guys are going to get some attention this way. And because of their attention that way, because of this guard's attention right here, this center has to really focus on 69. He can't let 69 immediately beat him inside across his face because obviously that would blow up the entire play. So he, the center, has to work to his left pretty hardcore. Same thing with the guard. 
this center work in this way allows Koontz, the much better athlete, to potentially beat him across his face. Let's check out what happens. Again, you can see the center, he has to commit to his left because that defensive tackle is threatening him. And you can see Koontz taking one step upfield, watch him loop around, generate the pressure, flush the quarterback, chase him outside the pocket, results in an incomplete pass. Punt the football. It's good stuff. Right. Obviously, technically, you'd love him to be a little bit tighter to the center, right? Maybe a step or two. So that way you can get more vertical penetration right at Easton Sticks face there, the quarterback's face. But again, still a good job. The one thing I hate about this, and it's not Kuntz's fault, is nine. Wilson, dude, you cannot lose your outside and contain. You're essentially switching responsibilities here between the in man on the line of scrimmage and yourself. You are now the contained defender. You can't get caught up inside. And he does, allows the quarterback to escape the pocket. Again, still ends up an incomplete pass, good coverage down the field. But when you get pressure in the quarterback's face like this, you can't lose contain. This should be a sack for Wilson right here. This is great work across the board. 69 does a great job. Coons does a great job. Wilson's got to make this play. But again, focusing on Coons here, nice rep. Working around, right in the quarterback's face. Gets his hand on the ground. I love his effort. I love his athleticism. This kid is quickly becoming a great player for this Raiders defense. Yeah, Nick, and we talked about pass rush. Kuntz has been a pass rush fiend in the last five games. Three out of the last five games, 91.6, 91.4, 91 PFF grades. Been absolutely phenomenal. The last six games is when he has gotten his four sacks. This is a guy in the pass rush department is doing a lot of really good things. And as we've said, this is his breakout half of the season. All right, this next play may be my favorite play from Koontz all game long. So here the Raiders are just going to rush for this direction just like this. Koontz is going to come off the edge here. You've got Crosby, of course, working off the edge this way. And they're going to bring the linebacker to insert, and Eckler, the running back, is going to pick him up. And this is a young quarterback, obviously, number two, Easton Stick. He's going to see the linebacker come right in, right in his face, and he's going to bail out this way. I want everyone to focus on this matchup. It's a great rep, once again, from Koontz going up against a really good left tackle. But I want you to focus on Koontz's effort, his energy, and his speed. It's next-level stuff. Let's check it out. Or you can see the blitz right there coming right into his face. You can see Koontz working around the outside. Great job with the hands. Great rip move. For those of you who aren't familiar with the rip move, you get your hands into the offensive tackle's chest. You then take your inside arm, this time Koontz's left arm, rip it through right there to get through the arms of the offensive tackle, turn the corner and get pressure on the quarterback. But again, because you can see the running back was had to pick up the blitz, Easton Stick got a little uncomfortable. He decided to bail. But look at this effort. Look at this speed, chasing down, diving to get him out of bounds. That's awesome stuff. Let's check it out from the sideline copy. Again, this is incredible athleticism. You talk about winning games. You talk about playing better football. You talk about a guy who deserves to be on the field. This is what I want to see. That's next level effort and intensity and energy. You don't see it in the NFL. I mean, this is elite level stuff. You talk about just stuff that make, makes me want to say this guy should play every snap. Look at that speed, that effort, that hustle. This is a guy who wants to be a Raider. All right, switching up to a run defense, there is Koontz right there on the right side of your screen, a defensive, a defensive right, excuse me, as well. So this is just going to be an outside zone concept for the Chargers offense. You're going to get everybody running this way for the Los Angeles Chargers up front. The goal is to get the running back taking this path and then get north and south where he finds a hole. This is another check-the-box kind of play for an edge defender. You've got to work down the line of scrimmage and make sure when the running back cuts back, you're there to make the play. If you can't make this play, you can't start. Let's check out how Koontz does here. There's a snap. You can see everybody sprinting to the right. You can see Koontz following the tight end down the line of scrimmage. He's in great position. The running back cuts back. He's about to make the play right there. This is good stuff. Good position. Cross the board. Great work. Except Max Crosby blows it up and makes a play for a two-yard loss. <laughs> and Max Crosby just completely eliminates Koontz right there, too. It's kind of a funny stuff. But again, Koontz, great position, right? Working down the line of scrimmage. He's in a great position to play the cutback. Look at his feet. See how he settles himself right there, gets his feet parallel to the line of scrimmage. He's ready to make a tackle in space against a running back. He's doing a perfect job here. Now, he didn't make the play because number 98 may be the best football player in the country right now. I mean, this guy's unbelievable. Totally eliminates that tackle, makes a play in the backfield. That's ridiculous level stuff. I love Micah Parsons. I love the Bosa's, right? They're nowhere near as good as Max Crosby right now. He is playing at an elite level, and he should get more recognition for it. But again, focusing back on Koontz, this is a really nice rep. Because like I said, if you're not in a position to make this play, if you don't make the play like Koontz did here, you can't play in the NFL. Koontz did. Another reason why he deserves more reps here for this Raiders defense. Yeah, Nick, we talked about Koontz. We talked about Crosby. Obviously, Crosby gets the play right there. 
This is really good stuff because we always like to talk about the PFF metric of stops, and these are tackles that constitute a failure for the offense. Let's talk about weeks one through eight with Koontz. He only had six stops in the first eight games. Now let's talk about weeks nine through 15. Koontz has had 12 stops in those, absolutely doubled up on the amount of stops he has gotten. In the second half of the season, Koontz has really come alive. He's becoming a big-time playmaker for this Raiders defense. All right, let's go with another pass rush. Once again, the Raiders, they really love this set. They have three guys to one side of the offensive line right there, and they've got Koontz all by his lonesome right here. Again, one-on-one, really good tackle here. This is a play, right, a situation the Chargers expect. They're all pro, pro bowl left tackle to be able to handle Koontz. Koontz, once again, gets around him, generates a great pressure on the quarterback, forces a negative play for the offense. Let's check it out. Gets into his chest, dips and rips, and gets low. Folks, I want to highlight just how low he's able to get right here. First of all, I love a little push and pull. See how he gets his hands extended, and then he's going to pull 72 a little bit and then dip and rip through and stay low, forces the incomplete pass. Technically, this is unreal, folks. I mean, it's it's so crazy to think of a guy who's only in his third year, I believe, in the NFL playing at a level like this in terms of athleticism and technique-wise. There are very few guys, first of all, in the NFL at all, that have that level of technique. But when you focus in his knee bend, his athleticism, I mean, look at his ability to rip through, stay low, turn the corner, get a clean hit on the quarterback. That's awesome stuff. Check it out from the sideline view here. This is the best view of it right here. One-on-one left tackle. This is a situation on an island. Gets into the left tackle, rips, gets low, goes through, forces the incomplete pass. This is unbelievable stuff. Again, this is stuff that gives Micah Parsons all kinds of praise all game long. The Bosa twins, Crosby, all of them. That's a, that level of talent we're seeing out of Koontz. He literally is becoming the next great NFL pass rusher in front of us all. All right, let's end on another big-time play from Koontz. There he is right there on the left side of your screen, on the right side of the defense. Again, we've highlighted his athleticism. We've highlighted his effort. We've highlighted his energy. This is a pass rush situation. Big-time sack, big-time turnover for the Raiders' defense. Let's check out who Koontz finishes out this cut-up. Again, another elite-level play from this young edge defender. All right, there's a snap. He works through the chip, gets blocked, works around, keeps hustling, fumble, balls out, scoop and score, big man touchdown. Look at that. Awesome stuff. But it all starts with effort. It all starts with athleticism. It all starts with one-two. Again, you're battling through a chip here at the line of scrimmage. You get stunned right there. You got the left tackle. He's in a good position right there to block you. He drives you upfield. Again, look at that rip. Again, take look at his left arm. It's a great view of it. See how he forces his left arm through. I'm going to step through that one more time. Right here, he takes it left arm forces it through and is able to get through the left tackle's arms right there. But again, he's outside the quarterback. He's far past the quarterback. I think he's about two yards behind him right there. Quarterback's about to throw. I wouldn't say Koontz is beat here. He's just away from the play. But look at his effort. He keeps working, keeps driving, attacks the football. Look at this right arm right here. Punching the ball out, getting the quarterback on the ground, leaving his feet. You talk about a kamikaze who wants to play a lot of reps. That's awesome stuff. That's Raider football right there. But old school silver and black is what you want, Raiders fans. Awesome stuff. Again, effort, intensity, technique, athleticism, speed. Al Davis would be proud of that, folks. And Malcolm Kuntz is quickly becoming a superstar in this Raiders defense. Yeah, Nick. And let's talk about best on best for a minute to help me get into my next point. Obviously, it's a little bit hyperbolic. Max Krause is the best pass rusher on this Raiders defense. But Kuntz going to go up against Roshan Slater all game. By far the Chargers' best offensive lineman. He's absolutely beaten up Easton Stick causing a lot of big plays. That leads me to my next point. What's the only thing that would take away a big play like this? And that is a penalty. And that's one thing Kuntz has been phenomenal as as well. Only one penalty all season throughout 15 games. Very clean football. Very dominant. This guy is going to be a very big time piece for the Raiders for years to come.